Um, let's see. Uh, so looking at the agenda, which I will, in addition to putting on the boards, we'll put in chat. Um, running down the list of current viewer candidates, it hasn't changed much uh, at the top of the list anyway. The ones that are actually out, we have the maintenance viewer and the interest list viewer. Those were both just recently updated to incorporate all of the viewer release changes. Um, both are doing very well so far, but it's early days. Um, we will be getting back uh, yet another stab at the Google, Google Breakpad release candidate um, pretty soon. Turns out that uh, most of the problems it was having once we were able to break them down um, were on Windows XP. So we're taking a different tack on Windows XP uh, and similar generation ancient and busted versions of Windows. Um, no, we're not, not going to ban it, <laughs> at least not yet. Uh, one can hope uh, if if I had my way we would be pretty heavily telling people you know it's time get off um, but but that's well Ed would be uh, Ed would be the first person to tell you that his most stable system ever in second life was his XP system well it, Microsoft it wouldn't be support today in April I, I assure you it would not be today. It has Windows XP has a, a truly horrific crash rate. Um, so, uh, and yes, I am working on getting stats. Yeah, I was just going to say, I'm, oh, really? I'm, so I'm, when do we I'm get working that? Working on it. Uh, well, I've, I've, I've gotten it for just a couple of very specific revs. What I haven't yet gotten is a way to say, I want to see the viewers in this channel for which you know and 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 then break it down but we're getting there in small baby steps and eventually eventually at no particular predicted time we will get there uh, anyway uh but break that we we have not given up on the brake pad thing um when that comes out it's going to be pretty important that you all pick it up or the comparisons of our of our numbers are going to be uh, completely meaningless. Um, they already are. Well, they're already not great. They're going to be even less great. Um, My conclusion is that you cannot really compare the viewers on their crash plots at this point, because I looked over some code and everybody does some, should I say, optimizations. So they are not... They are not comparable to one another. Yeah. Um, well, I, I'm I'm not gonna I'm, I'm not gonna say it's gonna be compulsory, but in particular, one one change that uh, is in that branch is that we have moved the creation of the of the marker file that starts that that measures you know where we start looking for crash counts much, much earlier in initialization than it was. Um, and similarly, we have moved the deletion of the marker files um, much, much later in the cleanup than they were. So this caused, um, this among other things, caused an apparent increase in, in, um, in crashes and freezes because we were counting the ones that happened outside what the previous window was. And in the in, but inside the larger window, they were most uh, most of the difference was startup and shutdown crashes. Actually, most of the difference was shutdown crashes. Um, and people don't necessarily notice shutdown crashes um, because they're already shutting down. And you know, they're, they're the best kind. Yeah, the viewer is closing, and it happens to go away in a in a way that actually isn't clean, but they can't tell, so it doesn't matter to them. So, but that doesn't mean that they're bad. Um, well, I've seen uh, some really they're, bad they're, ones. It doesn't mean that they're okay because they, because what they really mean is that there's some part of your code that isn't doing the right thing. You, you've you've leaked things, you've failed to fail to clean clean out pointers properly, um, and and you don't hit it. Memory enough. leaks in the viewer. Yeah. No. I've seen so, a, a particularly nasty one is uh, when uh, during the shutdown, 
the viewer saves inventory cache. An inventory cache is uh, passed through uh, gzip. And apparently that uses a bit of memory. So if you are running quite low on memory, which is common on 32-bit systems, it often crashes in the middle of yeah. compressing the inventory uh, cache. So I, I suspect that a lot of problems with people complaining that their inventory cache gets destroyed and they have to clear cache and relog and they have missing folders is due to crashes on, on shutdown that are not noticed until you log in next time and half of your inventory is not there. So this is the the, the local cache of what your inventory is? Yep. On, on shutdown, it caches your whole inventory tree and it uses a gzip compression. And I, in our crash logger, I've seen a lot of crashes and I looked, why does gzip crash? It's, it's one of the most tested pieces of software. But I've seen that it's actually running out of memory during shutdown. So, that's a really that's a really good observation. Um, I wonder if maybe we sh could do better by just replacing that with a uh, uh, the FIFS uh, module and put it in a zip file because then we can open it that way in the first place. Wonder if yeah, we have the same problem. It could be some worth looking into. Yeah, yeah. Um, would you put what you just said in an email to me and? Drop it to me so I don't forget about that. Sure. Because uh, that's that's a that's a great observation. Thank you very much. Um, okay. Anyway, uh, back to the current set of candidates. There will be new uh, release candidate viewers any time now from the Sunshine branch and the Merchant Outbox branch, uh, and probably also Zipper. Um, Lots of those will be coming out as, as candidates any minute now. Um, they are in the last stages of the QA pipeline. Um, so uh, I would be I would be looking for those. Um, the zipper one was currently was uh, if you look on the viewer source page, um, it's showing a, a repository you can't see. Um, my apologies for that. It should have been in a public one. I think there is a public equivalent, but uh, I haven't I haven't edited the wiki page just because I don't know 100% for sure. That wiki page is generated by a script. Um, so, yeah, I think that one's correct, but um, I, I just haven't bothered to update it. If I update it, then I have to turn on the turn off the thing that tells me that the pages are the page needs to be updated. And I'd rather not do that. So. Um, I have a, I have a I'd like to um, I'd like to just offer kudos to whoever named it Project Zipper without considering the connotations of such a name. <laughs> Great uh, job! <laughs> I will I will pass on your your uh, your approbation there. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I know who it was, and I won't tell. Um, <laughs> It, it reminded me, when I first heard it, I was thinking, um, you know, breast physics, and then now we project zipper, we're getting something else physical, maybe? <laughs> um, not this week. Uh, <laughs> the fact that you didn't rule that out disturbs me. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Gotta let me have some fun. Um, <laughs> Uh, yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, so other projects that are in other stages of the pipeline, that list hasn't changed. It, um, group bands is still out there. Um, I believe they're putting that up on Aditi and yep. turning it on shortly, if not already. I'm not, I'm not sure, but uh, so that should be available for testing soon. They should be releasing a project viewer for that too, right? Yes. Yes, that's the plan. Um, I'm not a hundred percent sure what the what the minute up to the minute status of that is, but I, I know that it's 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 much closer than it has been. Um, yeah, yeah. Sometime next week. That that was the plan. So. 
look forward to that. Um, oh, so and and uh, Oculus Rift, of course, continues to slog through QA. But there were a couple so more comments there. Go ahead. Yes, so it's time for me to uh, get in touch with Baker and say, hey, I've got a whole bunch of people willing to test this for you. Uh, yeah, I, I don't think we're, we're in any it, we're in any doubt about whether or not there's people ready to test it for us. But um, but initially, it will only be on a DD. There aren't that many people in the groups on a DD. But um, I said I hope I hope the uh, <laughs> release of the project viewer gets accompanied with the source code repository, so we can start on merging that thing. Yes, it will. Um, I, I will. I will make sure of it. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea, Nick. Then the silly uh, conversation went. Well, now if it works, so often. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I remember when we had to prove to and demonstrate to Oz the ground sit bug, um, because Oz didn't believe us, and it was right here, I believe. And and we told we asked Oz sit down on the ground, and he did. And and then everybody was trying to kick him around the region. <laughs> it's yeah, very funny. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, okay. Uh, AIS v3. Um, I have not actually confirmed that this was done per plan, but I believe the plan was that it would be enabled on the Magnum region this week. Um, so it is. Thank you. Uh, I thought that that was true. So um, it's live and getting liver. Uh, yeah, I updated our uh, merge branch of it uh, this week, too. Good. Um, also, uh, maybe more immediate news. Um, per our meeting last time, we have gotten a new release of the Vivox SDK, version 4.6.9. Um, and I have presents. Uh, Hold it. Presence. So that is the repository. That is a repository that has the new auto build packages for the new voice modules. Um, you're getting it while it's in QA for us. And I, so um, I, I'm, I'm aware Tank tried to slip that into our release, <laughs> which we've got scheduled. It, it is it is claimed <laughs> in the release notes that I just pointed the link to um, that it is binary compatible. That it there, there's no viewer changes needed. So it, you you might even be able to just repackage past releases. And well, what we might do actually is. Um, is uh, re because I don't want to start, you know, throwing something out that's completely untested in a release. But what we may do is offer the new Vivox uh, as an alternative for people that can download off the site and throw it into their install. Right. In particular, um, well, you can look at the release notes yourself. I just posted a, a, a link to them, and I can see some people have already opened it. Um, uh, for people who's who've been having trouble because of... Um, Lossy networks, um, they might, they might find this better. Uh, and uh, I, I haven't, I haven't started running this as my routine viewer yet, but I'm going to shortly because I use voice in, in SL quite a lot. Um, and I, one of the things that irritates me about voice in SL is the latency, and this is supposed to make that better. So. Uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, but I'm not running it, so it doesn't count. I, I can uh, tell you right now, it seems to have totally fixed my voice issues, where I did the max headroom. I was hearing the max headroom effect from other people. Oh, good. Yeah. How does it fix it when it was just released, like, 30 seconds ago? Uh, no, the code was actually available last night. We had it in our in our, our repository yesterday. Uh, I'm on a test build, actually. Speaking of that tank, can you throw together a zip file for me of those Vivox files? 
I guess. And uh, I think what we'll do is actually we'll offer it out along with the release as an alternative. I'll throw it up on our brand new shiny download server. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah. Um, so that's, that's also getting started in the pipeline. Hopefully it will be in the release viewers pretty quickly. Uh, that's certainly our intent. Uh, and it would be good if everybody picked it up at some point soon. Uh, try and get some of the old versions of SL Voice off the grid. Um, and let's see. Uh, yes, he did try. <laughs> Credit where credits do. <laughs> uh, I guess that I'm out of agenda items, so the floor is open. Uh, we're still on schedule for the March 9th uh, release in the evening. So Monday, you guys, Lynn and Lab will have a surprise. Great. Yay about Gyra. Yes. Yeah, that's amazingly, amazingly fantastic news. Nothing like having a new CEO who says he wants things more open. Yeah, Yay. seriously. That's Makes huge. Stuff happen quickly. Maybe I'll start participating again. I have huge, huge respect for Abby so far. And his trolling the trolls is epic as well. That's really good. What? He trolls trolls. Explain? Ow. I've been really keeping up. He that. he gets he gets trolled in in the second life forums and he trolls them back. And does a damn fine job of it. I think he's got the sense of humor required. Um, so, the, it, it is not going to go back to exactly the same way it was before, um, and in particular, there will be some uh, significant constraints on commenting. Um, we do not want to go back to the old days of having endless, um, ongoing user-to-user uh, -user, uh, conversations that don't help going on in, in JIRA issues. So, well, like Jonathan state, said, how are you going to deal with that? Uh, the Jira just will turn off commenting at various points in the workflow. Um, so, uh, or restrict it to a smaller set of people. Um, we're, we're configuring it better is the, is the short answer. Um, so for example, you won't be able to comment on closed issues anymore. Once they're closed, they're closed and that'll be the end of it. Um, so, um, yeah, most well. most users won't be able to comment once it's once the issue has been has gotten through triage and been accepted as a real issue. That means that we know enough about it; we don't need any more stuff, and we certainly don't need come you know comments of the of the form. Why haven't you fixed this yet? Because um, the answer is always the same: because we haven't. Um, so. I don't think that was uh, such a big problem as you make up it sound to be. And there were only few issues that were really leading into these flame wars, you know, like the notoriously bad one about the deformer mesh. But in, in most <laughs> most issues, it was very constructive. And I don't know, I don't understand all this. Uh, you know, you well, just need to moderate moderate a few issues. Yeah. It, well, it, it, that isn't, unfortunately, that isn't a, that isn't a problem. That isn't among the possibilities. We can't we can't do moderation on an issue by issue basis. All we can do is on the rules for a project, um, we can change what's possible. So we're trying it this way. 
and it's going to be it's clearly going to be hugely better than it than it has been for the last several months because if for no other reason everybody will be able to browse bug issues and be able to see them um, yeah it's an improvement search. but but not being able to comment after the issue is closed is not uh, the very best solution it's um uh, you can always open enough. a new issue that's always an option. Yeah, but you close um, fit, fit mesh six, and I look over the code, and I see there is a potential error, and I have a comment. Hey, look at this! You know, you missed the rain check. And if you disable yeah, comments, and, should I? And you and you did communicate that, and we fixed it. So I mean, what, where I'm was able, the problem there? Because I am able to add a comment after the issue was closed, and I I'm, I I let's let's not. The, Let's let's not assume that it's going to be bad when we haven't even turned it on yet. All right? Yeah, it's going to be big, better. The, it's, the big point is, if you better, file an issue, if, if you file an issue, you will still be able to comment on it after it's closed. If yes. you're the filer of the Jira, if you're the reporter, yeah, that's that, that's my understanding too. Right. The, the um, big thing, as far as I'm concerned, is that people will be able to search and they'll be able to find out that, yeah, this is a bug and you need to do this or that or the other thing to fix it. Or they don't, uh, you know, there's no reason to file another copy of it. Yeah, exactly. Right. I didn't read the announcement in detail, but did it mention, are you guys going to be allowing um, voting? Will that come back or is that going to stay gone? Uh, it's never been gone. And no, well, been, well, what I mean is, you guys never. Y yeah, it was what I, I should have rephrased that. Um, are you guys going to take into account voting? As far as I know, we never have. Um, so, I, I mean, we we make. <laughs> uh, I don't know how many of you are 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 football fans, or or even um, more narrowly, Patriots football fans. Uh, Bill Belichick is the is the head coach of the Patriots and he is this incredibly taciturn guy and and he uh, you can find you can find uh, lots of lots of videos of him on YouTube doing press conferences he absolutely drives the press crazy because the press asks him the usual stupid questions about why he did this or that and the other thing and his his standard answer is always and he literally just answers like half the questions in every news conference with the same answer um, you know, we did that because it was the best thing to do for the team at the time. Um, and that's how we pick what we're going to work on. Um, it's because we pick the thing that we think is going to be the best for Second Life at any given time. Um, and everybody is free to disagree with the choices we make. Um, but, uh, you know, that's how we pick them. And... Sometimes that would end up matching what people voted for, but sometimes it wouldn't. Um, so uh, we we kind of skipped that step. At one point, we tried to turn off voting, and it broke something in Jira, and nobody's ever gone back and uh, figured out whether or not we can turn it off now, as far as I know. Um, so, uh, yeah, the actual... Configuration change is supposed to happen next week. Um, I, I don't know whether they're going to do a Jira update at the same time or not. I know that there have been there are some reasons to do that. Um, so uh, it, it may be that they're planning on f flipping the switch over the weekend or something. I I haven't heard. I haven't heard an exact target time for when the configuration change will take place. Uh, so, next week is all I've heard. So, that's a little bit more specific than real soon now. I think overall everybody's quite pleased with the, um, the announcement. I am. I'm very pleased. So, we'll see. Uh, I think it'll. I think it'll be an improvement. Has anybody said um, "I told you so" yet to just Luna Lab in general? <laughs> <laughs> Hardly a day goes by without it. <laughs> <laughs> then in that case, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, so I don't know. Um, any other hot topics? I don't know. This uh, is nothing be, for me. Uh, this, this is, is kind of be. This could be a new record short meeting with Jesse. Yeah, you know what? Every time you say that, it <laughs> always ends up going on for the rest of the hour. Then <laughs> you just <laughs> jinxed it again. <laughs> Maybe everybody's voice just broke. Oh, there's there's something. <laughs> Tabs or spaces. <laughs> Tabs. That's why you have those uh, developer meetings just got to last four hours, you know. What is I, I actually volunteered really, at really one point to change all the... <laughs> All the tabs to spaces in the entire <laughs> Linden Lab code base. They wouldn't let. Hey, them. I've I've volunteered to do that. Of <laughs> course, I wanted to go much further. You wouldn't let me. No, no. It was only insane. They 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 wouldn't <laughs> let me either. Uh, it's the the only thing I violently disagree with in the in the Second Life coding standard, but. Is only one thing you violently <laughs> really? There are some other things just that one <laughs> I, uh, that I have minor disagreements with in the coding. Oh, I'm talking about the standard, not the code. Oh right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, oh, she's back. I'm afraid to find out what I missed. <laughs> Tabs versus spaces. Spaces all the way. Oh no, you didn't no, go no there. No tabs. <laughs> so I think we're actually speechless, which is interesting. I am. I mean, you've opened up the Jira, which is going to make support's job so much simpler. Well, you're opening it up. Uh, Baker's got the group band stuff coming out to a DD next week. Um, I have to turn my mic off and do my happy dance. <laughs> if, if well, we've got a group of... Plan, if all goes according to plan, uh, he'll just be, you know, unable to contain himself next week. We've we've got a large group of open source developers and support people, and none of you can think of anything to argue about. Oh, I can think of lots of things to argue about. Oh, I forgot to mention the new voice file seemed to work great for me. Um, <laughs> life is coming up roses. If you can get rid of this damn cold weather that I'm having, uh, it'll life will become perfect. Yeah, maybe yeah, I get that same cold weather. ourselves and not discussing things too much. <laughs> HTTP is fantastic. Is Monty here? Monty's not here. Are you going to include that in the? I believe Monty is on Abs vacation. Absolutely, uh, mind you, it th that didn't go without some some uh, drama. Think. Yeah. Uh, not everybody on, on my team was in favor of releasing HTTP, but um, you win some, you lose some. Uh, I, I happened to win the HTTP one just because nobody could find a decent argument why not to include it. It is just good. And so far there's been like not a single negative connotation to HTTP at all, so it's going out. Um, it's It's great from our perspective that if everybody adopts that, quickly just because it it takes load off our servers. Uh, That's why well, that too. Singularity uses a completely different uh, HTTP implementation, which is even more conservative than the, the one that uh, Monty has implemented, because the, as far as I understand, the, the new one in the, in the viewer uses the eight connections to download meshes. But we we limit ours to eight total connections per service, 
point, which means that we will only maximally use eight connections for both textures and meshes. And seems to be working fairly well. Right. Our um, our expectation is that we will go in that direction uh, and and further limit the number of connections once we have a pipelining support working. Um, but uh, at the moment, we're we're leaving it a little wider. Um, to so we are allow using for for. Four connections for textures and four for meshes, which is far, far lower than what the, the official viewer uses. And we yes. specifically made uh, the setting, you can tweak it with the setting, but we made the setting non persistent. So, you know, people who want to put it uh, to 100, they can for that session, but the next time they relog, it will just revert back to the 4 4 oh, standard that's great. configuration. Yeah, because if they set it that high, they're just going to end up getting throttled anyway. It's, it's not going to work. Because um, we've gotten a lot more aggressive on the server side. About no, really. higher is always better. No. Ask any of our users, they'll tell you. More bandwidth, higher draw distance. More is better. Draw distance to 4,000 meters. It would be also nice if... Uh, if the, you know, I've seen on, on a very busy scenes that uh, the... the Download rates are really, really low, and I don't know why that is. And by busy sim, I mean sim with more than 30 avatars on it. It would be nice if Linden Lab could figure out why. Why does a slowdown in sim simulation speed, why does that follow the, the slowdown in HTTP download rates? I thought that was handled by Squid or some out-of-process... Uh. Uh, yeah, if Monty were here, I'm sure he would have commentary on that. But he's he, he we released his viewer, and he went on vacation the next day. So <laughs> he earned it. Uh, that I'd like to hear that, though. I'd like to hear his answer to that. That's yeah. a good well, question. He's he's you know going to be doing more work on on all this. So we'll I'm sure we'll he'll stop. Write that down, Latif. Ask ask at the next meeting because I'm curious too. I've also um, might um, we we had uh, looked into some of these issues with fitted mesh and why does why do some drivers tend to draw some of the mesh as if fitted mesh was not supported and you you see stretching from from the mesh to the sim corner and we found that some meshes uploaded with Firestorm have some illegal joint names in them and i dug out a patch that was proposed by machina matrix people and that was incorporated in firestorm which allows them to upload meshes that have uh, illegal uh, joint names in them and uh, at least in singularity i'm not sure about the path the code path that it takes in other viewers that would uh, cause uh, some um, some of our code to, to, to get into undefined state and perhaps, uh, you know, use an initialized memory, which was at least for singularity causing uh, this, uh, this problem. So I would like to appeal to people, you know, to refrain from, you know, like extending the specifications in this respect, because they might have tested it on their viewer, and it might be working on their specific graphics card, but it might be causing crashes and, and undefined behavior in other viewers. Yeah, my in, in in general, my feeling is that we probably ought to be fixing that on the server side and prevent it, as Jonathan commented and in, 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 implied in chat. Um, we probably ought to look at whether or not we can filter content that is out of spec before it ever gets to anybody else on the grid. Um, and but, so, uh, Worley actually brought that, that your statement, Latif, to our attention uh, the other day. And, um, and we were looking into the, the problem is we're so close to release now, uh, and we don't know what the ramifications would be of removing that, or, and we don't fully understand the ramifications of having it, the illegal joint names. Um, so, for the sake of not throwing our release further behind, we're, we're going to release as is. Um, and, and I understand we've had this patch in for a few releases now already, but um, once this release is out, we're going to look a little bit further into this and, and figure out, um, try to understand further 
the whole situation with that. Right. Yeah. Well, I know, I know, I know we, we won't. Yankee. We won't let that topic drop. I'm gonna. I'm gonna come back to it. Um, yeah. We have yeah. Similar issues with attachment points. I'm not uh, saying that uh, you know you should yank it out and delay a release. I'm only saying, you know, be mindful that not everybody is using your viewer, and that you know the change that you might think might be cool for your own. Just have in mind, consider what might be happening to the to the people that use viewers that don't support it. Okay. So what Did consequences you see it might cause? Comment, by the way. Kitty's comment uh, in, in is chat. Uh, a little interesting. Yes, in local. Yeah, there isn't. Uh, we don't know if it's the same. Um, it, it may actually be that uh, it's it's not even to do with our patch. Yeah. Well, but the in general, um, the the point, the the general point that um, for things like that where. Uh, you know, you shouldn't be, it should not be possible for users to extend things like the definition of the avatar skeleton and uh, attachment points and, and all of that. Um, and very likely what we will end up doing um, in the relatively near future um, is beginning to make the, the upload processes more robust with respect to that. And just say, you know, if we don't recognize um, something, then upload it, attempting to upload it won't work. Um, now, of course, as with as with other things in the past, that won't change the fact that we've got things in the world that already are out of spec. Um, but we'll we'll try to filter more and more of them. Um, so it's just something to bear in mind. Um, is that you know you're just you you may end up be when whenever you allow more flexibility than is supported by the by the Linden Lab viewer for in world content, um, you know you may just be causing yourself headaches down the down the road when it stops working. Um, because I, I I pretty firmly believe that we should not be allowing things that we don't support to to come into the world um, in the first place to the extent that we can to detect and prevent it. Um, so. Sometimes it takes a third party viewer to release that kind of thing in order to motivate Linden Lab to follow up with it, though. There are things uh, in the past that well, are, are widely popular now but, that but even Linden also, Lab has adopted. Right. But it's also true that we now have a, a, a relatively functional process of actually making contributions. So, um, you know, if, if somebody has a, has a really good idea for a way to extend things beyond what we do now and is willing to do the work to make it happen, there's a way to get that to, to happen. Um, yeah, like, I'm but just not going to say about... it's going to work every time because we don't always agree that things are a good idea, but, um, but uh, there is at least a process for it. I know that uh, sometimes in the past there has not been a process for it, um, but I think both fitted mesh and materials demonstrated that the process can work. Uh, so, uh, I'm, I'm not quite able to offer you that, Jonathan. Uh, oh, come on. Not quite yet. What could go wrong? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I can. Uh, and I can get other people to. So. <laughs> Yeah, the, the other side of the problem is that uh, the viewer is really trusting that the network is going to send it the right things. Yeah, and, if, and we and, just don't know. Yeah, and uh, yeah, very f the 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 sanity checks on what the data is it's getting uh, few and far apart. So this particular problem with the illegal uh, joints is is easily fixable on the viewer side because you can say. You know, oh, they are sending me some drawings that I don't know about. Let's not use uninitialized memory space for that drawing, but uh, yeah. you know, sanitize it. But, uh, right you that. know, we inherit, we inherit Those... a la large, uh, you know, chunks of code from Linden Labs. So, so the, the part that I saw was using uninitialized memory, we fixed it. So now it's not a problem. 
for, for singularity here. So the problem goes both ways, you know, sanitize data when it gets to the service, and also try to, you know, be skeptical about data coming from the service and actually verify that it's okay, and don't crash at the first bite, that's, that's wrong. Yeah, and um, those are some of my favorite kind of patches, is when people hand me things that uh, uh, put in bounce checks and and integrity checks into the code. Easy to easy to get those through the process. Uh, I will I will check out uh, that if if this patch that we made for Singularity that applies to to the current Linden code, and if it does, I'll I'll send it to you. Great. Or or at least describe the general nature of it, and we can we can have somebody work through what the what the specific difference would be. Okay. Um, unless there's a new topic. Um, I guess not. <laughs> Just, I wish Baker was here. <laughs> Have oh. a good weekend, buddy. It's my... Mother said many, many times when I was growing up, wish in one hand and spit in the other. See which one fills up first. <laughs> yeah, well, there's the other one. If wishes were horses, all beggars would ride. There's always that. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good weekend. Thanks for coming. Bye. Thanks, guys. And poof. Ed, you wanted to talk to me? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We going home, Bib? Uh, yeah, we can do that. Bye.